one owner car guy with big holes for you. I got big holes in my lot. It's awesome. I'm working on something new right here. You have to guess what it is. Yeah, so I almost showed it to you. That's the deal. All kinds of stuff going on. I almost wrecked a car. Took it to the body shop and stuff. It wasn't running right. Some douchebag slammed on the brakes in front of me like 25 car lengths away. I had no choice but to put it over in the ditch. And there was a... I can't even make a motion. From here to here. I'd say about a 1 foot to 14 inch upper that I had to get back across. And I was going right towards a gutter thing. I would have just went foomp and stopped. Didn't want to have to get towed. That and some detailing tips if you're selling your car, some stuff to help make it worth more, etc. And that's what this video is about. Kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. And meeting Kirill for the first time. My friend from Russia, from YouTube, is actually moving here to work on cars and stuff and buy and sell cars with me. Awesome guy. You're going to like him. You're going to see more of him in the other videos. Auctions and everything coming up. Check all this out. One owner car guy. Oneownercarguy.com And today I'm just going to do a really quick video on some extra little tips to help you get the most out of your car. Um, even if the wheels are old and steel, I'm just going to jump right into it. These are an old steel wheel. Nice wheels. They're clean. But I've cleaned them up quite a bit. I was actually going to put some of this. And if you want to paint your wheels, this hammered Rust-Oleum is the absolute best stuff to do it with. I wanted something a little bit more silver. I'm not going to paint them. I've made the choice not to paint them. But I cleaned them up. And I'm going to show you what they look like not cleaned up. And that's pretty much the point here in this video. And the other one is wheel wells, stuff like that. And on these older cars, this kind of stuff here will get you extra money if you sand that down and spray it black again. But you have to pretty much paint the whole round surround to where it all matches. Um, this stuff, some people pick it off. This one's not that bad and it's just starting to flake a little bit. Um, bumpers. When you've got these foamy type bumpers, you've got to treat them with some armor all type stuff, um, vinyl renewer, something like that to treat them. You've got to treat them. Um, it's one of the number one things people forget is lenses. And lenses do make a huge, huge difference on a car. Just getting the grime off a lens is a huge difference. So let me show you this other wheel here. And the main thing I want to show you too is wheel wells. Um, wheel wells are huge. This wheel looks nice. But also, if you clean it up a little bit, watch this. I'm not going to tell you it's going to make all the difference in the world. But I am going to tell you that from across the street, taking pictures of it, it makes a huge difference. Just cleaning it up, not even painting it. I mean, there's so much dirt coming off there. You can see on that one how it's going to be. So, I don't know if this video is going to show this properly, but it's going to show the next thing properly. You ain't going to believe the difference you can make. Look at this. It does clean it up quite a bit. And it makes it look more even, no matter what. Um, some of the rust will even knock off. And this is getting kind of patinaed out. These middle things, they are in such good shape. This car has all the little hubcaps. It's amazing. Okay, one of the biggest things you can do is wheel wells. Um, you can also paint wipers. Painting wipers makes a huge difference. If there's anything like that that you could buy, um, like this one has a door handle missing on the other side. That's something you could buy that definitely is going to up your value. Look at this. This right here has not been detailed. So hopefully you can see that this is Google Glass. I'm gonna put it in here. It's not that good, but. However, I've detailed that side and I'm gonna get some degreaser on this. I should take a picture. Now this is original plastic. And just by spraying a little bit of this on here, and then getting it all cleaned up. I'm telling you what, you've never seen a difference like this and show it off. I mean, if you've got one of these, that's a 1982, and these two pieces of plastic in the front have actually held together all those years. Oh my God. Take note of what you got. That's cool. And clean it up because this adds 
a huge amount. Somebody is going to see how clean this thing is down here, and it's going to really do it for them. And I'm going to make sure and show this off in my video because I'm proud of this. This looks good. Honestly, the top looks good too. And I'm going to hit it up a bit. Kind of try to tie it in. The paint, the original paint on the wheel wells and stuff here. It's just amazing how clean this car is. So, actually it looked better before I started cleaning the rust up, but big difference. I'm going to get that little spot right there. Breeder's back. Bam! Like I say, that's some of the quick things you can do to get more money on your car. And it's definitely quick stuff. Now I'm going to show you, I detailed out this motor. Might as well show you. And this is one thing that's going to get you a lot more money. Also, vacuum, clean the interiors, clean those. I clean those things good. The, I can't think what they're called. The pedals. Look at this. This is just absolutely amazing. I did a video of this. You'll see it on here where I'm showing you how clean it is or doing the detail. I detailed the motor. Um, this thing is just clean as can be. And before it wasn't so clean. It was clean, but it was dirty. If that makes any sense. Well, thanks for watching. Just a quick thing to kind of show you some stuff to get a little bit of extra money out of your car. And even putting the vinyl renewer on the tires and such, it's important. Um, I do have a degreaser that I'll sell. I do have towel wands that I'll sell, bam, for drying the car and a couple things. I'm getting the products coming out. It's just not happening really quick. Um, if Colin comes down, maybe I'll get some more of that done. But daily vlogs, subscribe, daily videos every day. That's what that means. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And I'm on my way to go take pictures of this beautiful little 82 Datsun Nissan. B210 Sentra wagon. Actually, I need to find out a little bit of information about it. I was going to Google it before I did this to do the Wikipedia, and I just don't do the same kind of stuff that most people do when selling them. I don't care, and I need to. I don't care about the little specifics, like, ooh, it has this many horsepower. Who cares how many horsepower it has? It has either 57 or 58. No. More than that, maybe, like 63. But still, you get my drift. That's illegal! He cut through the parking lot. That's a gem. Yeehaw, gold gem, baby. Loving it. Kind of sick of them. Kind of sick of them. Uh, yep. Throw that in your bog. Delicate art. Couldn't do without you, Roxy. Couldn't do without you. <laughs> actually a pretty easy little deal. I don't look forward to it for so long. And then it takes all of like three minutes to do. So I guess in life most everything boils down to laziness.
Well, on the way to the auction, and it's a warm day, I'm going to hit all that traffic. I'm not looking forward to it. It's an hour and 45 minutes from where I am. And it's like 8.40 at night, and I'm still going. I don't know who that is. I got Krill. I hope I'm saying his name right. Came in from Russia. That could be him. That is him, maybe. I don't know. But he's in, and I was going to meet up with him, but it's getting late. i got to go see my buddy. Um, he's got some different things going for me on the Parizio deal, with helping me get a drywaller. That was, that was not even amber. It wasn't even amber. So I need to talk to him on that to get a drywaller for my Parizio stuff. But the work vlog type thing here, I'm just trying to clip some stuff in. It's long days, man. If I get to bed before 11.30 tonight, it's going to be lucky. And i got to get up at 5 o'clock again to try and make another auction. Or at least do my stock trading correctly and such. Because I didn't get to do much of anything today. It really was all about that auction and those cars. And it was a great day. And then it was all about making the video. Right now the video for that is uploading. So if you've heard Automotive Buyers Club and such, you need to get in touch. Wow, because it's a cool thing, it's a new thing, it's my thing, it's your thing. Yep, look at t-shirt. It's my thing, wah, it's your thing, wall. It's something like that, you know, without the wah and the wall. The wah and the wall is implied with the exclamation point or something. I don't know. Bling! We'll talk to you. Okay, I've got a subscriber from Russia, Krill, or Creel. I don't know how to say his name. Never met him yet. But I think he's here. Yeah, he's here. Hello! Hi! How's it going? I found you already. <laughs> you got a challenger, you like it? Yeah. Like uh, drive it? like Enterprise? Uh sixty dollars in the day. That's cool. That's good. That's cool. I like them. They're nice. That was for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Sweet nice to meet you. How nice do I say your you. name? Kirill. 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 Or Kirill. Kirill. It's short one. I was like, Krill. I didn't know Kirill. how to say it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is straight up. It's from Russia, huh? Yeah. Uh, I think you have it here. In the oh, that's cool. Areas. I've never like, seen that. I've never seen it. It's like uh, Tsarska. Like Tsar. It's sour? Tsar. Tsar, it's like king. It's mean like king in Russia, Tsar. Is that good? I mean, it's, it's good? It's the best. It's the best. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. You got my power washer in my car? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take the power washer back and forth. Ah, fuck it. My work truck. Oh, yeah, you don't have a American. You have a, Ru yeah, you have a Russian one. Sound is perfect. I, I, I it is enjoy. nice, and it's stock too. It's all stock. Yeah, it's only one thousand uh, miles. Oh wow, well, it's brand new. Yeah, it's brand new. I was gonna ask you, is it seventeen or eighteen? It's eighteen, then, huh? Straight. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'd be careful, the police station is right down there, yeah. but right at the light. Yeah, you're right down the road. That's it, and that's the, that's the, they just built that hotel, it's brand new. Yeah, it's good, very good. Yeah, it's very nice. At the Hermosa Beach, it was a crap. Really? If, if you compare, it's crap. I made a video last night, what, what was the one you stayed in? What kind, last night? Uh, some quality in quality and yeah they're not that good that's crap yeah the one i stayed in last night was awful there were stains on the bed no oh, yeah there's burn marks in the man whatever that is disgusting i'm gonna sleep in my clothes tonight one owner car guy one owner car guy.com i haven't been at this lot in a while the weeds are growing up Things are going crazy. I am doing stuff. I don't know what I'm doing right now. 
I got a guy here from Russia, Kirill. I think I'm saying that right. And he wants to buy cars. Well, hell, I want to buy cars. Sounds like we should talk. How's it going? Good. Well, thank you. Yeah. Morning. Morning. What's going here? It's not really nice, but it's an uh, office-y. I, I don't even come here. <laughs> I've been here maybe, I've been here three days in a month. Yeah? Yeah. I stay up with my woman in Ventura. But she's being, she's being weird right now. <laughs> Always. I like this car, and I can't wait to get it all fixed up. New paint, baby. This interior is sweet. Okay, Dad's here. He's going to drive in that Challenger. Okay, Kirill's here in the RT. I'm here in the Mustang, and it's heading out, man. I recorded a few things here. Well, that's cute with the little LEDs in the back of the Challenger. Okay. Oh, man. Dying. Yeah. What is it? It's not running? Not very well. I hate Arco. What? I hate Arco. I do too. No credit cards. No, they don't take credit cards. No, I was trying to get a gallon of water to put in here. But they got the machine out front too. You mean the... Uh, water. Yeah. So I figured I could drive over there and get water in it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you know what I was really worried about? Is the thing is so high. I was trying to get back over it, and I was losing momentum, and I couldn't get back over onto the road. Yeah. I didn't want to get stuck over there and have it have to be towed. Yeah, it was just one I didn't check because I brought it home on a trailer. Remember, I loaded it up on that trailer. 
I can smell the antifreeze now. Should run a little cooler. I'd say it's a gallon and a half. Hello? Wow, look at this. One number off from mine. And it's Marriott trying to tell me I want a hotel room. We don't need no stinking water. This runs on water, not gas. It must. Probably tore a couple pipes off the bottom when I went up over that curb. Nah. It's a fort for off-road driving. Three numbers. I don't know when they do it. This is the Mega. I'm guessing there ain't much in the motor. Put more in there. Well, at least right there. That went down. That went down. Well, it might even fucking run right with water in it, huh? <laughs> wow. It's sucking some water down in it, huh? I had Google Glass on a minute ago, but I ran this thing up over the curb, man, and back over the other way. It seems to be running right now, but we had some problems and couldn't stop really quickly. No. Well, it runs better, but it's not running better, if that makes any sense. <laughs> What's up, dude? Kind of. Kind of makes sense. Hey, puppy. Nobody's going to pet you and play with you. What was it doing? Well, here, I'll show you to where you know. you got to, like, run it like a fucking carbureted car. You hear that? Wow. Yeah. I think the fuel pump's a little off. It's weak. You can hear it humming. Yeah, I can hear it. Underneath everything. And then, you know, I started thinking maybe exhaust. I was going to say the catalytic converter. Catalytic converter's yeah. plugged or something. It, over, it, 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 it overheated. It overheated yeah, by the time I got to mine, main. Yep. But we pulled over, and it took probably three gallons of water. Damn. And now it, I'm going to check. I don't think it's leaked. And because I haven't seen no I steam or nothing. Or nothing. So... Yeah, it's probably was just low on water. That could be too. Did you check the water before you left? Nope. Okay. But and this is one of the rare ones that I actually took a trailer to pick up. Usually I drive them home, and I got in and I'm like, there was none in it. Well, nothing bad is happening, so that's a good thing. That's a good. It's a good, it's a good sign nothing. with the bad signs. <laughs> I don't know. At first, I would say kind of like converter first. Well, that was it. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. Daily vlogs, daily videos, all kinds of stuff coming up. You're going to love it. Automotive Buyers Club on Facebook. Add it.